In the previous lesson, we showed how exchange rate policy can be used to ensure a BOP equilibrium. Yet, we've assumed two very stringent criteria, that the PED for both imports and exports are elastic. In the real world, this may not hold. In Singapore's case, for example, our lack of natural resources and small domestic market mean most of our necessities come from overseas. This means our imports tend to be priced inelastic. Despite this, Singapore still adopts an exchange rate policy as our preferred monetary policy. And this is because the BOP will improve following devaluation so long as the marginal learner condition holds. The ML condition states that as long as the sum of price elasticities of demand for imports and exports is greater than one, a devaluation of a country's currency can lead to an improvement in BOP, ceteris paribus. Now, this definition is very important since you're required to state it at A-levels every time you mention the ML condition, which you must do every time you explain the impact of exchange rate on BOP. Thankfully, in our current syllabus, you're not required to explain just why this particular condition must hold.